Hi, welcome to the Crates Motel. My name's Conan. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Plugin Alliance's The Oven, which is basically a software version of a piece of hardware developed by Mar Applebaum, the mastering engineer, uh, which was it's a boutique piece of hardware that he's developed for use in his mastering studio. Now, it's not a review. Uh, I've been asked by quite a few people how I use it in mastering the, the plugin. So I wanted to make a video showing how I would use it in a mastering situation. So let's jump in. So here we are in Studio One. Now, as I said, this is not really a review. I've been asked by a few people how I use it in mastering. So I wanted to make a video showing how I apply it in mastering. And obviously, you know, that's what the hardware was developed for. But I just want to point out you don't just have to use this for mastering you can use it in mixing as well i tend to just use it for mastering but you know it, it's it's got a real nice mojo sound to it so i'm sure it sounds amazing on drum buses and guitars and synths etc etc i'm going to demonstrate today how i use it on a master now i have a pre-master from a client here there's a little bit of work in some eq it's i'm using a clipper just to get some level and then I've got a limiter at the end. Now these are usual things that I would do. So, you know, I would have these plugins running alongside the oven. So I'm showing you how I actually use it in mastering. I'm not going to, it's not going to be giving you a true bypass um, of what the master sounds like without oven on, because obviously I do have some other processing going on, but I will give you an impression of how the master sounds without oven being applied, but the other processing being applied, if that makes sense. So let's just have a listen to the pre-master. I'll turn oven off. Now, to be fair, I didn't really need to do an awful lot of work on this master. It was very well mixed. And I just had a little bit of work to do with some EQ at the bottom here, just taking out some low end, taking out some low end uh, on the sides. There was a little bit of a resonance frequency which needed to be dealt with. And I just wanted to tame the uh, high end a little bit before it went into my clipper. Uh, with the clipper, I'm just getting a bit of extra level out of it. Although this clipper does actually imprint a bit of a sound. Um, but as I said, this is not a review just of the oven. This is about how I use the oven. So this would be a usual thing that I would do in a master anyway. Uh, and then I have the Pro L2 at the end. What I quite often do in mastering is I stack a couple of limiters. I quite often use the vice limiter um, before the Pro L2. But today, just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use the Pro L2. Pretty normal settings for a limiter in mastering. I'm getting a nice bit of level out of it before I use oven. So we're getting around minus 11 LUFS. So getting back to the oven, why would I use it in a master in this situation? Now on this particular master, what I really wanted to do was, it's, it's got a nice balance overall, but I wanted to, because of the type of track that it is, give a bit of girth to the low end and increase the perceived loudness of it. So I'll be using some saturation kind of in the mid frequencies and in the high end, uh, and just, just give it a little bit of a, a bit of a taste, a bit of a mojo, you know, a bit of poshness. And the oven is really, really good for this. And you can just do it all with one plugin. Now, you kind of need to know what you're doing with it. It, it. it can get out of control very, very quickly. You can, you can drive things into distortion quite easily, which you obviously want to be careful if, careful with when you're mastering. So you need to be gentle with it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the track and make some adjustments to basically thicken up the low end and bring out the perceived loudness in the mids and in the highs. And it's not really going to add too much in terms of level, but it's going to sound louder and it's, and it's, it's going to have a little bit more mojo and a little bit, little bit more taste. Now what I really, really like about these is this is where you can really add a bit of girth to the low end. So 
So you can hear when I when I bring the oven in and using these, I'm going to use a little bit of this in, in a second as well. It, it just gives the low end, it kind of just gives it a, a bit more weight um, without boosting the low end, without using an EQ, using saturation basically. So these two can be used really, really subtly, but but it's kind of one of those plugins that when you, especially with the, the mids and the highs, when you, you, you bring it in gradually, you don't really notice it, but you notice it when you take it out. And this is especially true with the sizzle here, which I'll bring in in a second. So, you know, I, I, I tend to start working on the low end um, when I work on a master and then work through the frequencies, low mids to mids to high mids to highs. Uh, and I do exactly the same when I'm using the oven. That's not to say that's the only way you can use it. It's just how I've always, how I always work on a master, starting with the low end, get the low end right. Um, and I'm kind of using this in the way that you would use an EQ. And that's how you can kind of think of it. It is, you know, whether this was the intention or not, you, 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 it's kind of like a, an EQ and a saturation built into the same plugin as such, whether that was intentional or not, not sure. So I'm just gonna bring the sizzle up as well, and this really, really opens up the uh, high end. And you, and you can be quite generous with it. So you can see from what I was doing there that whilst it sounds as if it is actually louder, it isn't actually that much louder, if at all in fact. And that's what I mean by increasing the perceived loudness to give it, um, to, to give you the impression that it's louder, to bring it out more, to open the, the master up a lot more, but you're not actually increasing the level. And that can be really, really useful in some situations. So I'm going to let it play with the oven on for a good few seconds so that you get used to it. And then when I take it out, you'll see what I mean by how it, it's one of those plugins that you it's quite subtle. You don't really notice it. Take it out suddenly. Oh, where's the mojo gone?
for me, it really, really opens things up in the mids into the higher mids. It just suddenly, for me, it, it you know, I'm not sure exactly what's going on under the hood. You know, with this compression going on, what's going on with the saturation? You know, I don't use Plugin Doctor, as you probably know if you watch my videos. But it, it to me, it does sound like there's some compression going on in the mids and the high mids. And that, for me, but in the same way, is, is opening things up, but clutching in on things. There's a little bit of glue, you know, and it's and that's that's really, really nice in a master where you can get that kind of effect where the, the master sounds nice and open. Uh, but at the same time, you, you're you not getting, you know, crazy jumps in uh, transients and volume and stuff. It's just, there's still a nice bit of glue going on. The best place to listen is kind of listen to the hi-hats. So there you have it. Really, like I said, it wasn't a review. I just wanted to kind of answer a few questions from people and show how I use it in a master. And I do find myself using it, not on every single master, but certainly in a lot of club music, just because of the weight it gives me in the low end um, without you know, getting that kind of distortion sometimes that you can get if you use EQ. I use it in the same way that I use Black Box and also the VSM, Vertigo VSM. Um, so just to give a bit of girth in the low end and open up the mid range and the high mids and just give it that extra little bit of perceived loudness. And it's, it's, it's really, really good for that. Definitely worth checking out, definitely worth demoing. And the more I use it, the more I find myself using it on masters if you understand so thanks for watching please subscribe for more mixing and mastering tutorials and reviews this is the crates motel my name's conan till next time